of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Our top priorities of the... Uh, it is uh, deep in uh, every sick we have in our... No. It's finally coming to the public eyes that, you know, the Indian government is involved in this. It's not like a dispute. Are you okay? Yeah, it's really true. Pleasure to meet you. My Indian counterpart. And I've also told him that we expect India's full collaboration. Ra's expanding role in international affairs. In the world of intelligence agencies, India's Research and Analysis Wing, or RA, is renowned for its effectiveness particularly within its neighborhood. Its involvement in neighboring countries like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Nepal has often been a cause for concern, with allegations of political interference and links to outlawed groups that have carried out acts of violence. However, it was Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's recent accusation that Ra was involved in the slaying of Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijar in Vancouver that thrust this secretive agency into the global spotlight. India vehemently denied Trudeau's allegations, leading to a diplomatic spat between the two countries. While India demanded evidence to substantiate the claims, Canada chose not to release this proof publicly, instead sharing it with its allies. This incident has shone a light on Ra's activities and the evolving role it plays on the international stage. According to interviews with retired and serving Indian security and intelligence officials familiar with Ra, the agency's transformation into a more assertive international player began after the 2008 Mumbai attacks, a tragic event that claimed the lives of 166 people. These officials, who spoke on the condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the matter, revealed that RAW saw the need to adapt and expand its reach beyond its immediate neighborhood. In the aftermath of the Mumbai attacks, RAW sought to strengthen its presence in Western nations gradually. One key driving factor was India's inability to secure the extradition of a U.S. citizen who had been convicted of involvement in the attacks. This failure highlighted the necessity for RA to increase its influence in the West and take on a more proactive role in international affairs. While RA possesses advanced signal and technical intelligence capabilities within its neighboring countries, it predominantly relies on human intelligence for its operations in the West. This approach underscores the agency's shift in strategy and its recognition of the importance of human assets when operating in foreign territories. RAW's expanding role in international affairs raises questions about the methods and objectives of India's external intelligence service. As it continues to navigate the complex web of global geopolitics, RAW's activities and influence are likely to remain subjects of interest and scrutiny on the international stage. Implications of Recent Allegations Prime Minister Narendra Modi's tenure since his election in 2014 has played a significant role in emboldening RAW, along with other arms of India's national security apparatus. Under Modi's leadership, India has sought to bolster its defense capabilities, enhancing its military and intelligence capacities. This approach has contributed to the agency's increased assertiveness on the global stage, as reported by five officials familiar with RAW. However, it's worth noting that Modi's office did not respond to requests for comment on this matter. The only serving official publicly associated with RAW, Chief Ravi Sina, did not respond to messages seeking comment. Sina reports directly to Modi's office through National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, who did also not respond to requests for comment. This chain of command underscores the close alignment of RAW's activities with the highest levels of government. Despite the allegations, all six officials, including both retired and serving members of India's security and intelligence community, categorically denied that RAW engaged in targeted slayings. News did come out. I was surprised, but it kind of drove away a little bit of anxiety that we were kind Donna, of... to be clear, Global News has not seen the video, but spoke to three independent people who have, including the... Uh, ...to block Mr. Hardeep Singh Nijar in while the assassins came and shot um, at him from the driver's seat. You know, it's finally coming to the public eyes that, you know, the Indian government is involved in this. It's not like a... Dis ...of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Our top priorities... Of the My Indian counterpart... And I've also told him that we expect India's full collaboration. They stressed that the agency lacks the mandate for such operations. This assertion contradicts the claims made by Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau, suggesting a stark difference in perspectives. 
the fallout from the Vancouver incident has raised concerns within Indian intelligence circles that RAW may face greater global scrutiny. Analysts and experts on an Indian intelligence, such as Dheeraj Paramisha Chaya from Britain's Hull University, acknowledge that recent developments have undoubtedly piqued global curiosity about RAW. While heightened scrutiny may pose challenges, it could also lead to a deeper understanding of India's security concerns. Notably, India has been strengthening its ties with Western countries, particularly in the realm of military and intelligence cooperation. As tensions with China have escalated, Western nations have increased their engagement with India. For instance, the U.S. agreed in 2020 to share sensitive mapping and satellite data with India, signifying a growing alliance. However, the recent allegations by Canada may temporarily strain trust between Western countries and RAW. The public nature of Trudeau's assertions has complicated diplomatic relations between Ottawa and Delhi. In response, India suspended the issuance of new visas to Canadian citizens and demanded that Canada reduce its diplomatic presence. The Washington Post reported that Canada had attempted to rally allies, including the U.S., to issue a joint statement condemning India. Such diplomatic tensions can have broader implications for international relations. The Evolution of RAW's International Reach RAW, India's external intelligence agency, has been increasingly expanding its global presence in recent years. While its primary focus has historically been on South Asia and Southeast Asia, notable developments indicate a growing influence in Western nations, including North America. This expansion reflects a shift in RAW's operational priorities and its response to emerging challenges. One key factor driving RAW's overseas presence is the evolving security landscape in the aftermath of the 2008 Mumbai attacks. These attacks, which resulted in the tragic loss of 166 lives, prompted India to reassess its national security strategy. The agency's perceived failure to prevent the attacks played a pivotal role in galvanizing RAW to adopt a more assertive international role. In particular, the role of David Headley, a U.S. citizen who scouted locations for the Mumbai attacks, significantly influenced RAW's global engagement. American law enforcement had been alerted to Headley's extremism ties before the attacks, raising questions about his dual role. While some Indian policymakers have suggested that he may have been a U.S. double agent, the U.S. government denies this claim. RAW's frustration with the failure to secure Headley's extradition fueled its determination to extend its reach in the West. RAW's presence in Western countries dates back to its inception in the 1960s, when it inherited the London station of the Intelligence Bureau. The significant Indian diaspora in countries like the US, Canada, Britain and Australia provides a valuable asset for the agency. However, the risk of Indian agents coming under surveillance in host nations has limited their use primarily to political influence campaigns rather than security operations. It means that there's been, you know, ongoing collection, we call it, uh, against various targets. India has remained silent on the latest revelation about the surveillance of Indian diplomats in Canada. The la uh, it is uh, deep in uh, every sick. We have it. Good to see you, sir. You okay? Yeah, Pleasure to meet you. Credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India. Recent reports, including from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, have suggested that countries like Canada are monitoring the possibility of India and China using their diaspora to influence political candidates. This underscores the growing importance of Indian expatriates in global political dynamics and the potential role they could play in foreign policy objectives. It's important to note that RA has historically been associated with covert operations in its immediate neighborhood, including targeted slayings and disappearances, often arranged through proxies to provide India with plausible deniability. In contrast, the agency has been cautious about conducting direct action in Western countries, while RA has facilitated the movement of cash, weapons and personnel in Europe, direct actions have typically been reserved for South Asia and Southeast Asia. RAW's Mysterious Operations RAW, India's premier external intelligence agency, operates from an unassuming office complex in central Delhi, devoid of any signage, shrouded in secrecy. 
Despite being at the forefront of India's intelligence community, details about the agency's operations, budget, and size remain closely guarded secrets, far from public scrutiny. The agency's origins trace back to 1968, when it split off from the Intelligence Bureau. Initially, its primary mandate was to keep a vigilant eye on China, following India's humiliating defeat in the brief 1962 Sino-Indian War. From its inception, RA established close ties with intelligence agencies like Israel's Mossad and the CIA, as reported by the U.S. Council on Foreign Relations in 2008. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who assumed office in 2014, RA, like other arms of India's national security apparatus, has experienced a surge in confidence and capabilities. According to officials familiar with the agency, the Modi government has demanded that RA expand its presence, significance, and capabilities on the global stage. This newfound assertiveness can be attributed to the Modi government's push to bolster India's defense capabilities and its proactive approach in diplomacy and deal-making, both in analog and digital realms. However, as India's intelligence services gain more capabilities and extend their reach, they operate within a legal framework that has not kept pace with modern espionage operations, according to intelligence writer Adrian Levy. RA operates under a government order, lacking formal parliamentary or constitutional backing, and is exempt from legislative oversight. This exemption means there is minimal external scrutiny and fewer legal hurdles in its operations, with real command and control centralized under the Prime Minister. The agency's roles, responsibilities, and operations are shrouded in secrecy, making it difficult to ascertain specific details about its functions, budget allocations, and internal workings. However, its expansion in Western nations and increased assertiveness on the global stage are indicative of India's evolving foreign and security policies. In recent years, RA has faced increased scrutiny and attention, especially in the wake of allegations made by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau regarding Indian government agents' involvement in the slaying of Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijar in Canada. Such incidents have raised concerns about RA coming under greater global monitoring, potentially impacting India's intelligence operations and diplomatic relations. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.